Hi folks, hope you're okay. Um, it's good to see you and hope everybody's okay. Uh, I just wanted to um, say one or two things. Uh, first of all, um, I just wanted to say about Saiten Brugengear that um, forgive me, I feel that I've been a bit hard on you on your apologetic method in terms of your kind of argument and I think I was hard on you because to be honest I didn't realize the full implications of how effective actually your method is um, this was brought home to me about two weeks ago I was in Liverpool and was doing street evangelism and uh, one of these smart clever clog atheists come up and started um, plowing me with questions about the Bible, about this, about that, and they were really trying to pull Christianity down, and they were not really there to engage and talk, and I thought, what am I going to do here, this guy, all this guy wants to do is just pull the Christian faith down, he's not interested, he just, I can see him smirking, he just thinks he's smart, he thinks he knows it all, so I thought I'll try it. Sorry, I'll try um, the size method on him. So I said, what is truth? Boom. You've never seen anybody just crumble in all your life. I uh, just went through the questions that you, you go through. And it just, within two seconds, the guy literally left. He admitted that truth was subjective. And the moment he realised what he'd done, he just walked off with his tail between his legs and I thought wow that is powerful that is a powerful methodology and I've been watching uh, recently I've watched a few debates with uh, apologies that have kind of honed your kind of method really and um, and to be honest they've been powerful debates where I believe your uh, your proteges or people who've been influenced by you, where you're they they've won the debates outright. Uh, I watched Ghost debating the Ghost guy debate Alex Bort and and I, my, I was literally my 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 heart was in my mouth. I was like that. I just thought that is awesome. The guy absolutely demolished Alex absolutely demolished him and Alex didn't even know he'd been absolutely demolished and the atheist and then uh, when I was going away on my going away thing saying goodbye to the atheist the um, <laughs> we had Alex on and we had other atheists and we were talk talked about truth and again my heart was in my mouth I was like I can't believe it I can't I cannot believe it I couldn't believe it. They were all saying that truth is subjective. And I thought, don't they realise they've just lost the debate? They've just lost the debate. And they couldn't realise it. They just could not realise the humendous gap that they'd made. And then all the debates that I've seen, you debate where Iron Rag ganged up on you and all the rest of it. And they'd learned the ropes of how you work. When you think about it, the moment they admit that truth is subjective, the game is over. They can ply you with questions and attack you and say, well, where are you getting truth from the Bible and how do you know the Bible? But you can't have any truth at all unless you presume the God of the Bible. That is the necessary precondition for intelligibility. Our God is the necessary precondition for intelligibility. And the atheists don't get it. The atheists think they get it. They think they get it. But they don't get it. I've heard Ozzy talk a lot. And he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. He thinks he gets it. He thinks he understands. He thinks he knows what it's all about. But he doesn't get it. I mean, he just used bits of... Bit, bits of... Of... Uh, 
a little bit of Alvin planting her ear, a little bit of Banson, a little bit of this, a little bit of puts it all together, throws in some big words, and everybody goes, oh, Ozzy, oh, you know, the great Ozzy has spoken. Um, but they don't get it, really. And basically, uh, and I've, I've got a lot of, uh, oh, sorry, I've got a few... Uh, friends who are philosophically minded and they've said oh you well he, he doesn't know much about epistemology uh, about you but I think um, you definitely know what you're doing and I think you're doing a great job and I think you should be encouraged and I think you should be commended and I know I've bashed you a few th a few times but you're a brother in Christ and you're doing a great job you're doing a a million times better than me. You, at least you don't react in the flesh. I've reacted umpteen times in the flesh. I've made umpteen mistakes. You're a better man than me, and you've done a great job. And um, and basically, you get a lot of stick simply because basically your apologetic is nuclear apologetics. It is nuclear apologetics. I know I've done it. I tried it two weeks ago, and I've never seen an atheist walk away so fast as I did two weeks ago. And these atheists are trying to learn the ropes of what, why you argue, and they've looked into philosophy and all the rest, and they think they've got it all sussed. But they don't realize that behind this methodology was an absolute philosophical genius. Van Til, Cornelius Van Til, was a philosophical genius. He was an expert in Hegel. And then you have Greg Banson. Then you have some great Christian apologists like John Frame and, and others. So, this apologetic is absolutely devastating apologetics. And the atheist can't deal with it. They don't know how to deal with it. And so what they do is they mimic your argument and then trying to read it back to you well that's not engagement and you're right to close them off you're right to close them off like you do when they want to ask you questions about the Bible and all that you're right to close them off because at the end of the day they're not there to engage with you they're, they're just there to take to, to make Christianity a laughing stock and you're not giving them a chance to do that so you've done right You've done right to stop them mocking the Christian faith. And people are attacking you, they laugh at you, they mock at you, but 99.9% .9 of them, whether it be the Christians or the atheists, 99.9% .9 of them, they don't understand what you're doing. Because what you're doing is superb. And even if there are professional epistemologists out there and they will smile and, and giggle and laugh at you if they come under a debate with you they will lose they will lose the debate um, I'm not saying I, I take on your full method and I, I like to use a mixture of different methods but you you've had a lot of stick not just from atheists but from Christians and I think it's not fair. I think you're a great guy. I think you're an, I think you're a wonderful guy. I think you're a, a a godly man. I think you're a biblical man. And I think you have had a lot of attack from the atheist because this apologetic is nuclear apologetics. So keep going with it. And uh, just think about the fact that when you're up against these people like Aaron Ra or anybody like this they're out to destroy you they're out to make you a laughing stock so you just need to make sure that whenever you come up against these people to do your background and make sure that it's formal academic debate don't get into these shows with them because they, they don't give you a fair hearing let them try to deal with you in a formal academic debate and you'll absolutely demolish them and if if they gang up on you like two on one or three on one, that's not good. Just 
just make sure you've got people like Dustin Seegers with you and people like that and I'm sorry I'm so sorry that I've not been an encouragement to you I'm so sorry that um, I didn't say encouraging things but never ever give up sorry never ever get discouraged you're doing a right good job you're doing a right good job so keep at it and I'm sorry for the things I've said and I just think you should be encouraged that I went and used your method and it was really helpful the Lord really helped me and use that method and um, and I just want to say to all the people around the world today young people instead of mocking Christianity instead of straw manning Christianity instead of thinking you're smart engage go and study the subjects that Sai brings up and go and look at these things in depth and if you approached it with any real intellectual honesty if you approached the presuppositional apologetics and looked into it and thought about it, it you'll be richly blessed um, so those are my thoughts so Sai thank you uh, I, I give God the glory for you and I give God the glory for this nuclear apologetics because it is really powerful and I just wish you all the best and I encourage everybody to encourage Sai Templeton Gate uh, and not to be faced down by these uh, these atheists the debate that Alex Morton had with Ghost with, with the Ghost guy, a young lad was classic site and Brugengate, it was classic your your methodology, your style and Alex was absolutely demolished absolutely demolished, the guy doesn't even know how demolished he was but he was demolished and the tragedy is these people don't realize don't realize it and uh, but don't be intimidated as Christian apologist we do have good arguments we have good methodologies and all the rest of it and these atheists um, on online uh, the, the more intelligent atheists do are not into the humiliation school of the Thunderfoot you know that school where it's all about humiliate Christian apologies there are atheists out there who are intelligent smart whimsical engaging and if we without not straw manning these people but if you take the best that they can offer academically in philosophy then we can match them pound for pound without a, without a shadow of doubt without any problem whatsoever we've got the re God has given us the resources to deal with these kind of discussions and arguments and we'll win every time because at the end of the day they've got no solid ground to stand on but we have to do it whimsically and with grace and kindness and love and with a with a willingness to treat them as human beings and uh, to seek out these kind of people who are willing to engage who when you talk to them are not going to say shut up shut up or you you you, you and, and you know call your names and all the rest of it but they're going to treat you with dignity as well basically I've made the video just do your thing mate just do your thing be encouraged be encouraged and watch it because these people will try and drag you into controversies so be careful who you uh, debate and discuss because you've got to be very very careful alright take care and God bless